All right, what's going on everyone? It's Tristan and today in this video what I'm doing is I'm gonna be going over how you guys can cop the Jordan 1 Royal Toes that are dropping pretty soon. I mean this week on May 9th. So yeah, pretty much this Saturday we have a good drop coming from Jordan and these sneakers are gonna have some resales. So I'll get into how much I think they'll sell for but I also will get into how you guys can actually cop these sneakers correctly, where they're dropping and just some methods I really have that are good for you guys that hopefully will allow you to get a pair of these or a few pair of these. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you all want more pairs, or not more pairs, well, if you want more pairs, watch this video. If you guys want more videos like this, be sure to go ahead and subscribe below and also drop a like. That'd be appreciated. Just trying to divert 100 likes, that'd be dope. And if you also want to, check my Instagrams down below. I'd appreciate a follow there. But that's really all I gotta say. So I'm Tristan. I hope you all will enjoy. And let's get into discussing how you guys can cop these Jordan 1 Royal Toes dropping this Saturday. So as I said, I believe I've already said this, these sneakers are dropping on May 9th, these Royal Toes. And now these are a fairly hyped sneaker. I'd say kind of like the Pine Greens is a good model that these could relate to. But you know, these ones are already selling pretty decent on like Goat and StockX, but those aren't really places we should look for how much these are gonna go for, cause resale will be different on like, you know, how resale this, they'll, they'll be different. So these ones are retailing for 170, typical retail. As you know, Jordan said, just keep going up $10 every year in price on retail, which is super annoying. So hopefully they stop because like resale is like dying like a, li a little bit because of that. But yeah, I, I really mess with like the fire, like royal blue, white and black on the sneaker, like the full just like combo in the sneaker, it goes pretty well together and it's pretty nice. So shout out, uh, you know, Jordan for making another good model and these ones are gonna be selling. So what I predicted resale to be around again, uh, I thought resale of these ones are going to be around 215 to 240. I wasn't thinking they were going to be like extreme amounts or like really, really high. I just, I wasn't thinking that, but I still do think these will go for a decent amount. So there's decent profit per pair, a smaller profit per pair. But if you get more pairs, it's obviously going to be more money, but obviously that's a harder task. You can't just talk about that. Like that's something super easy and just like right off the bat to do. Like it's harder to get more pairs, but luckily these are dropping on a bunch of places. This isn't just a sneakers drop or sneakers exclusive. going to be dropping on a lot of places. So that makes the sneaker a little bit easier to get. So you should be able to secure a pair or two with a, a little bit easier than usual, at least a pair. I'm gonna be getting a pair, I hope. So I'm gonna be going for it everywhere. I'm about to list off where you guys can cop these since uh, these Royal Toes are dropping at 10 a.m. online. So that's another that's another important piece of information. They're dropping at 10 a.m. online in a lot of different places. So I'm gonna list the places where you guys can find these online because some places are more popular than others and you wanna go to the places that are least, like less popular. So I'm gonna list the ones and the ones that you think are less popular, the ones you feel like you have a better chance of getting on. And also check if these places have in-store stock also since it's gonna be stores. Or no, not really. With coronavirus, now that I think of it, there's not gonna be. I was gonna recommend, I was gonna be like, oh, yeah, I'll go in store and you can maybe find some uh, pairs, but there's not going to be any in store to do the coronavirus. So actually, yeah, now I think about it, there's more online stock, but there's also more people going for it online. So it will be a little bit harder to get these online. But here are the places where you can get the sneaker at 10 a.m. Sorry for delaying it for so long, but you can get it on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. That's going to be the hardest place to get it, but you can get it there. You can also get it on Finish Line, Kicks USA, Foot Locker, JD Sports, East Bay, Champ Sports, and Clothing, Foot Patrol, and a few others you can find online. You can just look up places where you can get these sneakers and there should be some links that you guys can go find them at. But th at those places, they are dropping at 10 a.m. So go find them. Hopefully you're in some group chats that I recommended before that will have links. Mine with Discord. If you guys want to go check that down below, I'd appreciate it if you guys go join that. We'll have some links there. Hopefully that you guys can use for the drop. Not add to cart ones, but just some ones to know where they're dropping. So I'll hopefully be dropping a few. Those are all places where you guys can find them and where they'll be dropping. So determine which ones you think you have the best chance of copying at, but those are all good places. So all money right there. Just gotta hopefully be fast enough because it's gonna be hard, but some ways it can be faster on a computer. I'm gonna show you just use Chrome and you can be faster on a computer. I'm gonna show you how. So obviously make sure you have accounts on all these places. If you have accounts on these places or don't make accounts for them because you wanna make accounts. So when you can check in, uh, some actually allow you to add payment methods to accounts. So if you add a payment method to the account, then basically you just check out like that and you'll be checking out faster than others if you're able to add uh, a payment method as a feature of the account so think about that it's something you guys can do and uh i think a lot of people sleep on that always be making accounts don't check out as a guest it's faster usually you know it's harder to check out as a guest it's still possible but just my recommendation and also it's really good if you sign into google so basically if you go to google and go to settings basically what you can do is go to settings and there's a section right there autofill and you just put in a payment method right there and basically that's another thing you can do kind of Instead of getting a Chrome autofill, this one is better for like foot site websites. You can't really fill 
out like a Chrome Auto Fill before to like have uh, it all set up like that. So for this one, you just can add a payment method. Then whenever it sees that there's like credit card info that needs to be filled in, you just type one thing and it'll fill in everything on Google. Which I think it's pretty cool. It's automatic. It's nothing against the rules. So you'll be able to check out a lot faster. That's another recommendation I have. A lot of people sleep on using the autofill option on Google Chrome. So definitely use that. It's something that you shouldn't sleep on, but it's known. It's just people don't use it. I don't know why. And you can also rent a bot if you want to. I mean, renting a bot for to get multiple pairs is good sometimes. Uh, there's different bots you can get. Like, go to Title Marketplace. Uh, it's like a Discord. And like on Twitter, you guys go check out Title Marketplace. And you can go like rent a bot off there to get multiple pairs. If you know how to use bots, then definitely do that. If you don't know how to use bots, they got guides in the bots. But you can ask me any questions too about that. And you know, I can try and get you some help on setting them up. But renting bots, some people have done a ways to cook pairs. I'm gonna try and do this. So hopefully I. Can. And manual will be a good way to cop. I think a lot of people will be securing manual pairs. So good luck to everybody. Those are my best tips. Uh, the sneakers are really good hold also, so you'll make a lot of money holding these over time. But in general, talking about the Royal Toes, I'm a big fan of the Royal Toes. There's going to be money behind them, so don't sleep. I'm not sleeping on them, and you shouldn't either. So go make some money on those Royal Toes, but that's really all I got to say. So that's really how I recommend you guys cop them. Use Google Chrome. Don't sleep. And, uh, you know, that's all I got to say. So let's roll that outro. Anyways, if you guys want more content like this, feel free to go ahead and subscribe below and drop a like in this video. I'd appreciate that. Uh, you guys are always showing mad love, so I appreciate that uh, on the channel. That's great. And, you know, this is really my best tips on how you guys can cop pairs of the Royal Toes. Let me know if you guys are going for them. I'm going for them. Um, hopefully, Supreme will drop some more heat for this week since so far the Supreme drop looking kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just with the Barber collab. Prem removed it from the news section, so maybe they might be removing that collab, so that could be something. Uh, we might be getting something else this week, so maybe that's been pulled, but I don't know. I'll update you guys if I figure out about that. Stay up to date for more Supreme news on my channel, and also anything to do with how to cop sneakers, I, unboxing content, all that. I'll be trying to drop so many kinds of different videos, so hopefully you guys enjoy them, but that's really all I'm gonna say. Supreme's been the main focus lately. Uh, though on the channel if you guys can't tell if you also want to go follow my IGs down below that'd be dope uh, But yeah, that's really all I'm gonna say so I'm Tristan. Thank you all for watching and I'm gonna see you on the next video peace